Hey everybody, it's News and Stuff. Here again, I'm going to talk about a, uh, a loose snooze today. Something a little different. But something sort of the same. Uh, I'm going to be talking about the loose, uh, the loose version of uh, Odin's Extra Stark Candle or Sentiment. Uh, which I like better. I like the loose version of this stuff better. But yeah, this is it right here. Let me straighten up the label a little bit. If I can. This is it. Odin's Extra Stark. Pretty much the same exact can as the other stuff, except it's cannel cinnamon. Now, I like this stuff a whole lot better because it just smells better, tastes better. <laughs> Excuse me. It smells like cinnamon it's really good I smell like I mentioned before I smell gingerbread but it is especially more evident in the uh, the loose variety I smell gingerbread or like gingerbread with some raisins in it or something it's so freaking delicious um, let's see let me talk about how it, the coarseness of it it's it's fairly coarse it's a little more coarse than I than I like my loose noose, but uh, you know it's manageable. But I'm not gonna bake that by hand. I'm gonna use my little press master here, which I think works just fine. I can't see myself spending uh, 40, 50, 60 bucks on an ice tool when I think these things do the job just fine. And this stuff, it's uh, 16 milligrams per gram, so it is pretty strong. Uh, because it's so strong, I don't really don't make a very big prillo with this stuff because otherwise it's just gonna knock me on my ass. But uh, yeah, I'm not gonna push it out all the way, but sort of what it looks like all filled out. And yeah. Now this news it's uh I think it tastes good. It's a little bitter. But then again, uh, you know, a lot of uh really strong snooses can be a bit bitter, but um it's it's, it's bitter. Um it's definitely got the salt in there. Uh it takes a while for the cinnamon to really open out, come out. Especially if it's cold, I've noticed if if you got if your snooze is room temperature or warm, then uh, you tend to get the flavor a little quicker. But um, but it's good. It's it's just like uh, it's it's portion sibling, except it tastes a whole lot better. Uh, just like a lot of loose snooze, you want to keep it dry as you possibly can because if you start getting this thing all soaked up real good, it ain't going to be too nice for you. Uh, it's real strong. Yeah. Uh, I like to actually mix this with um, Gotland snooze uh, cinnamon. I think that one. Uh, Tastes pretty, or excuse me, not Gotland's new cinnamon, Gotland's new uh, licorice, the uh, aniseed. I think that is a good combination mixed together. Yeah. And like I mentioned in the in the portion uh, uh, Odin's candle video, uh, I think this stuff's called um, Odin's 59 now. So if you're looking for Odin's extra stark candle, you're gonna probably want to look for uh, Odin's 59. I know Northerner has uh, Odin's Extra Star Candle still. Uh, they don't have uh, Odin's 59 yet, but uh, I know New Central has Odin's 59. 
I haven't tried it. I'd like I'd like to try it, but something tells me it's, it's it ain't gonna be much different than uh, it ain't gonna be much different than um, this stuff. Except I think it's a 21 milligram uh, per gram. It's a little bit stronger, but a couple milligrams, you know. What's the big difference? But it's a good snooze, you know. As I say before about all the strong snoozes, if you want something strong, this will be good for you. Uh, I don't really do loose outside of, of home. I tend to do loose at home only simply because it's a little easier to manage uh, when you're... Uh, not in public. <laughs> yeah. But would I recommend Odin's 59 or Odin's uh, candle? Yes, I would. If you want a cinnamon flavor, it's good. Now, there ain't too many cinnamon flavors out there, but. And I haven't tried many, but I do like this cinnamon flavor. It's very tasty. But, yeah. Another thing I want to talk about is uh, why I'm making these videos. Why am I talking about uh, snooze and why am I telling people about snooze and you know giving my thoughts about snooze? Well, here on YouTube, I first I found out about snooze on YouTube, pretty much, and uh, it helped me a lot in finding different kinds of snooze and uh, what are good kinds and what aren't good kinds and um, it helped me a lot you know out a lot and uh, I figured uh, I might as well pass that on you know hopefully I'll help steer someone's uh, decision making in a good way yeah. you know but yeah I think the, the more information you put out there about um, <clears throat> stuff the the better it is so uh take what you will from it you know but that's just my take on the whole thing but yeah thanks for watching